Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Capricorn's broken heart reading for the month of February. In this message we're going to look into what is causing a conflict, a rift between you and another person, and tap into the energy surrounding how to resolve that conflict, okay? just going to jump right into the energies with a traditional tarot deck here. Capricorn, please keep in mind, guys, the messages on YouTuber General. You're more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, then there's most likely going to be something in the message. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, personal readings, extended versions, um, the decks that I use, it's all linked below. And Capricorn, if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help set your intentions for future messages. So, Capricorn, let's jump right in. The underlying energy we have here, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the Ace of Wands, which is a new beginning, a new passionate be I feel like this is a sexual connection. It's the first thing that comes to my mind. There's going to be a decision that's going to need to be made here, okay? I feel like there is something that's hidden here, okay? So we're going to try to see if we can clear that up. Um, there is a sense of waiting, okay? Um, and I feel here there is a need here to try to make it a practical decision. Don't try and get caught up in emotions. Um, don't get caught up in the passion, okay? Your part of the problem here, Capricorn, is the Two of Swords. And we're going to clarify all of this in a minute. My partner is coming out as the High Priestess. very intuitive I feel here that there's that's also a symbol that something here is hidden eight of wands hermit a nine of pentacles a star three of wands Seven of Pentacles. Temperance. Knight of Wands. So Capricorn, what I see here, there's a sense of waiting sense of being practical about um, where you see yourself headed in this connection. And there's going to also need to be a sense of getting on the same page or coming to a common ground. I do feel like there is some either a level of codependency or some type of overindulgence. And this could very well be what's hidden here, Capricorn. Um, but I feel that it very well could be part in this conflict, okay? So the conflict resolution is needing to come up with a solution to that issue. Um, that toxic behavior pattern or overindulgence, okay? Clarifying the devil, the ace of wands, and the two of pentacles here is the hierophant with the five of swords. So there's a sense of resistance to commitment, a fear of commitment, a resistance to commitment. I feel here, honestly, um, this is just a straight up resistance, not wanting. It's not the path that one person sees themselves being in. Okay, that's okay. 
okay there's several different types of relationships maybe monogamy isn't for you okay maybe there's other things out there and this doesn't have to only be for you capricorn this could be resonating for your person as well um but getting clear on getting clear on the future of this connection is going to be important here and this it seems like it's a common theme that's coming out honestly so capricorn your energy is the two of swords with the eight of wands okay sense of communication some of you may be guarded okay um not really seeing the path forward okay and i feel here there's a need to kind of take some time to gain that clarity now however that means to you maybe this is you know asking questions of friends who have different types of relationships like how their relationships look um maybe this is just sitting with yourself and getting clear on the things that you enjoy in a connection and the things that you would rather not experience in your life okay and maybe writing it out whatever that means to you capricorn your part here is being withdrawn okay and not really wanting to see either what this connection truly is or this person's position that they're trying to play in this connection. It's going to resonate different for different people. For your person's energy, they're the high priestess with the hermit, okay? And even though they're coming out as the hermit here, I feel like that may be a path that some of you Capricorn may choose to take. That hermit um, path going within to gain that clarity, okay? That's honestly where this positive movement forward is going to lie. A person is on the right path. I feel here that they already have a sense of knowing. Okay. They already know what's, what needs to be done. The, pers the perspective change lies with you, Capricorn. You have to take some time to see things more clearly. Okay. And I will say here, Capricorn, that both of you are wanting the same thing, okay? Ten of Pentacles on your side, you, your partner's coming out as the Sun card. You, kind of, you guys are both headed in the same direction. You guys both envision the same future. Um, getting on that same page is going to be important getting clear about that path forward where is this person's position in your life what are the expectations that you have out of a connection period um there is a sense of healing okay other influences nine of pentacles the star this is a very independent energy this isn't other influences involved this is Focusing on self, okay? Focusing on self-care, self-worth, self-healing. Capricorn. What I see here is because of you're so focused on self or your person so focused on self, it's easy to become cold to this connection, okay? Um, withdraw from this connection which is fine if that is what you're doing or what your person is doing whatever position that you take it's okay to be in that position however you need to kind of get clear on what the next step is so you can make a conscious decision about this movement forward There's going to be some time, there's going to be some work, there's going to be some effort that has to be put in. Is it worth it? I do feel like there is potential here, but it's going to take a lot of work, okay? And there is a level of uncertainty that I feel here is causing a rift. I don't 
for some of you, you may put in the work, the time, the effort, make this come together. For some of you, you may decide that this isn't the path that you want to take. Both decisions are okay, but you need to come to terms with it. Come to terms with it. So be okay with that decision. And again, be practical with how you move. Be practical with how you proceed. There's too much uncertainty here. Okay, there's too much uncertainty. So I feel here that what's going to take place is you guys are going to start seeing things clearly and choose yourselves. Okay, um, putting yourselves first, which is okay. That's fine. Whatever position each individual person chooses, is it's fine to be in that position as long as you're accepting that that's the position that you're in. What I feel here, Capricorn, for you is part of you wants to be in that family dynamic, that long-term connection. Part of you wants to be independent and do your own thing. That's where the indecisiveness comes in. So that's where the choice is going that you're going to have to choose. Okay, do I want a partnership? Am I going to compromise and, and choose this person and move forward? Or am I going to be independent, focus on myself? Spirit Keeper of the South. So this card is talking about abundance, prosperity, expansion, okay? Taking action, going after your dreams. The soul journey message that comes with this card is in the medicine wheel. The South is the direction that symbolizes the warmth of the noonday sun, summertime the full moon, and the time of rapid growth. Crops grow with vigor during the summer months. In the human cycle, it also represents the vitality of childhood. This is your time to shine. It's also a time of great bounty in all areas of your life. Open your arms to receive the gifts from the universe. I do feel a sense of you are heading in a positive direction here Capricorn this is just a, like one of those things you know that come it comes along your path you make a decision it either stays or it goes you have to make that decision I will say from this reading I see that you guys are very similar in what your vision is here where you see yourselves headed for the future but can you get on the same page is the question here. Will you be able to have a conversation? Some of you might feel overall, though, there's uncertainty that's causing this disconnect and clearing up that uncertainty is going to have to happen before you guys will be able to come together. The four truths always do your best. Stay in the present moment. Keep your attention on today and stay in the present moment. This is the beginning of a new understanding, a new dream. Beautiful Capricorn, beautiful. So Capricorn, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, again, we're going to take a look and to see what's hidden. We'll look and see what this person's true intentions are moving forward in the outcome. If the advice is followed. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon.
Namaste.